Why is it that everywhere we turn these days, there's only one way to answer a question in the affirmative? Are you going to the basketball game Friday night? Absolutely. Or the reporter asks, is there a connection between human activity and climate change? The scientist says, absolutely. You know, can I borrow your air compressor to pump up my tire? Absolutely. You know, are the Kansas City Royals going to make the playoffs next year? Abs well, hopefully. You know, let's not get too carried away. You know, I'm not sure how we've lost our creative ability with synonyms. What's wrong with responding, without a doubt? You bet. Of course. For sure. Or simply, yes. But our obsession with absolutely can go too far. If we think that the answer to every question has to be definitive, or else we can't answer it at all. And nowhere is this a greater danger than when it comes to asking God's will for your life. If I were to ask 200 young men, does God want you to be a Catholic priest? Perhaps zero would respond, absolutely. And that wouldn't be a surprise to me. Nor does it bother me. I probably couldn't have said, God absolutely wants me to be a priest until I was a few years into the seminary. And there's the danger. A guy might think that maybe... God wants him to be a priest. He might say, well, there's a part of me that believes that the priesthood is where I should be. But if a young man waits to apply for the seminary until he is absolutely sure that God wants him to be a priest, then chances are he'll never apply. Let me say that again. If a young man waits to enter the seminary until he's absolutely sure then chances are he'll never go. What he probably doesn't realize is that the seminary exists exactly for that purpose, to help a man discover whether or not the priesthood is what he was made for. Now, that's why the seminary is not just a one or two year program. That's why a man doesn't make any promises when he first arrives. That's why I probably had 35 to 40 guys in my class at different stages in the seminary, even though only 20 were ordained. Hardly anyone arrives with 100% certainty about their call. But it's his time in the seminary that helps a man to reach certainty, whether that is yes or no. Now, I'm not saying that someone should be half-hearted when he goes. Or simply have a, well, I'll just give it a try attitude. You know, every seminarian should arrive with the firm intention and desire to be a priest. His words, his actions, and his attitude should reflect that. What I'm saying is that it's okay for a man to apply to the seminary saying, you know, I'm pretty confident that this is where I should be, but I think this will help me to know for sure. Or saying, well, I know that this is what I want. I need to make sure that it's what God wants. It's okay to not have absolute certainty. If you or a young man you know has these thoughts in your mind, that's a pretty good indication of God's will. Can the seminary help you to confirm that? Without a doubt. You bet, for sure.